Annyeonghaseyo, welcome to another video. Today is all about Instagram. And in an attempt to up my iPhone game, I got this as well. Is it like a knife or a gun or something so I can open this? Uh, maybe. So right here, we're gonna open the DJI. Oh shoot, I already tore it. Oh shoot. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's how you do a proper unboxing. You can tell this is a tech channel. This is all Sarah's area too. Okay, wow, look at that, guys. All right, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jesus, dude, what is happening? Oh, oh! I'm just saying, oh, I don't really know what's going on. The biggest thing, I have no idea what's happening. Where the lens is at. <laughs> this is a catastrophe. Oh, oh, here we go, okay. The other thing that I got hooked up with from this company is lenses for the camera, which actually brings me into the perfect topic for today's video, which is Instagram skaters versus pro skaters. Yesterday, we really didn't film anything, except Willem and I went and filmed an Instagram video with my iPhone. The hell is happening? Oh, yeah. Okay, whoa. So this is the regular iPhone footage, and if we uh, put on the first wide lens, and there's a wide angle. I'm standing the same amount of distance. It should be much wider, but I also want to take it to the test where we go outside and do the skateboarding thing because that's mainly why I was excited about the wide angle lenses because we're going to incorporate the good footy with the good footy, which is the iPhone footy. And that's what works for the Instagram skaters. That's what we're going to do. Used to be we were waxing down our surfboards. Yeah, now yeah. we're waxing down our grinding wear. <laughs> Guys, we found a narrow alley to test the wide angle lens. It probably looks kind of big here, but it's not. It's skinny. Like my. And we're just going to use it to the ultimate test. We're going to do some skate flat rail tricks. See what it looks like. Did you see that? Something just flew off my hand. I oh, didn't see that. I just skin. Ironically enough, Willem and I thought we were using the wide angle, but we were using the super fish eye the whole time. And then Moment hooked me up with this counterweight for the iPhone 7 Plus so that the gimbal could do this. Jeez, counterweight. Holy crap, this is super sick. And I want to go outside and test this out. And where's the worst place in New York City to go to test something like this? Grooving on a New York afternoon. I think I grabbed the wrong lens. The reason this is a horrifying sight is because I grabbed the telephoto lens instead of the fisheye or the wide angle. So this is my face. From here you can sort of gauge how far this camera zooms because I'm holding the iPhone all the way up to my neck and it's this close to my feet. Hello Sarah Ichi. I brought you coffee. And I also took the uh, telephoto lens instead of the fisheye. No. I did. It was really smart. You proud of me? I'm gonna consider this a blessing in disguise because there's something else I wanted to showcase with this stuff that requires the wide angle, so we should go do that. Now this is the wide angle lens. How does it compare to the actual fisheye lens? It shouldn't be as wong, wong, wong. Now I'll probably be using this lens or the super fisheye for the stationary shots if I want to get some selfie clips, but I do have this crazy gadget for this lens. One thing that I know for certain is I do not like technology that requires apps. It's like most products out there, but it multiplies the chances of things going wrong by about three or four. This is the app that crashed, and it's just stuck loading. So what do I do now? Okay, it says that since this app is so big that I need Wi-Fi to get it to download. Guys, you are not gonna believe this. When I try to turn it on, it's green for a second, now it's blinking red, and then it turns off. Guess why? Because the battery's dead. And so is my spirit. How's that? Hi. Oh my, this is so frustrating. Ah! Well, that was fun. 
Okay, I have it on the charger and I'm making it a goal to go out today and actually use this thing. And skateboard, I feel like I haven't done enough of that yet. But I guess this is a perfect segue into the conversation about Instagram skaters versus pro skaters. It is insanity to see how many more views these niche skaters get over the pros that have been dominating. There are certain people who adapt really well to this, like Shane O'Neill. I guess anyone on Primitive is good at social media as well. So they will specifically use their filmer who has very nice cameras to use his iPhone to film them skateboarding to post on Instagram. The only explanation for this phenomenon is the relatability of using an iPhone compared to a nice camera. Not everyone has the resources to get something fancy and big to film productionisms. Nice productionisms. But most people have phones that they can film with that look eh, just as good or close at least. So there's a whole craze on Instagram now where people make a specific type of video. Even I make videos very similarly. You basically just find a fun song. A lot of it is SoundCloud rap nowadays. You make a fun, crazy, ridiculous, spontaneous edit. And it usually does really well compared to something that's very clean and cut well and what the French call a certain... I don't know what. Penis. So you'll go on some of these skateboarders Instagram and you'll see the biggest names in skateboarding commenting on their actual videos and basically talking to them as if they're a fan of what they're doing. It's really sick to see. It's another example of someone being able to pretty much make a career of their own. Even one of the biggest skateboarding accounts, Metro Skateboarding, posts a lot of Instagram footage from people throughout the world. People who film via Instagram and it's usually people who film via their phone. Now some of these people that Metro Skateboarding have featured have grown their own pages so big that they don't need anyone else really to shout them out. They were kind of a whole resource on their own. It's kind of that weird phenomenon of calling someone a social media platform via skater. YouTube skater. Instagram skater. I don't know if there's Facebook skater or Twitter skater yet, but there probably will be. And it's another one of those things where the examples that I've shown, those people are incredible skateboarders and they sort of don't live by the example I'm going to give. But it's sort of one of those things where you might not necessarily have to be as good enough as an average pro to retain the audience that a big company would get. Therefore, your value in skateboarding increases when your skill level can just sort of be at an average level. As long as you can make the videos right, you're good to go. And again, all the people I've shown, they deserve to be sponsored. They're the best people ever. They're so good. Also, that was shot on my iPhone with the wide angle lens. What's up? What do you think about this lens? It's really good at making close-up stuff in focus. That's true, there's you and here's my hand. Oh. Okay, fast forward because it started raining outside but I did get to try out the actual gimbal itself. And as you can see, it works so awesome to see everything stationary, to see how the shots move so smoothly when you use the actual joystick on the gimbal. Now I will say when it comes to the gimbal, it definitely steps up your iPhone game. It makes it look way more realistic like a real camera and all these lenses involved as well can add so many different qualities of footage to the actual edit. But it depends what you want. A lot of the Instagram edits that the skateboarders do, they just have the iPhone and that's it. And it seems to work just fine. So it depends what you want. If you want to do Instagram skate edits like the traditional way, maybe having the lenses and the gimbal wouldn't help. But if you're trying to step up your game and trying to make it more cinematic, then all these lenses and everything are awesome. The thing that I'm actually most excited about is using the lenses for Instagram stories. I think taking photos of that is awesome and people are kind of like, how did you do that? How come your story look cool and mine look like a stupid head? And honestly, I've been hearing over and over that the macro lens is sort of a gimmick, but I think you can do a lot of fun stuff with it. Here's a picture of my finger. I cut it earlier. I'm sorry if that was kind of gross, but it sort of gets the message across. I think when you're collecting B-roll for footage and montages, it kind of works awesomely. So that was my first experience with a gimbal and an iPhone, and I will say, pretty tight. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. And okay, guys, this is strange, but this outro and everything that I'm filming right now is actually the next day. When the rain came down, I was like, you know what? I can wait it out. And I also got to work on a lot of things like this office. And you can't see it right now, but behind you is me sort of redecorating my entire side of the office. And you get to see that in tomorrow's video or the next day. Pretty sure it's tomorrow, guys. So make sure you stay tuned to see all the things building. And to be able to document and share it with you guys is amazing. So I appreciate your face watching my face. Seriously, it's insane that you guys stay tuned to peep all this stuff. It means a lot more than you will ever know. You're here watching me and enjoying my content. And to know that anyone out there likes me man it feels good it makes my heart warm and it makes me think you know what we got to hang out soon and i'm making all these plans to make sure that i get to spend time with you guys 2018 is about trying to make sure that i get to end up with you guys as much as possible progress daily is going to be the connection between you 
and I. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, please go down there and subscribe, like this video, make sure you comment, let's have a conversation, let's keep it going, let's get this video going. To me, this channel is a community effect. It's gonna be the accumulation of all of our efforts, anybody who's adding in, anybody who's giving ideas, I love it so much and it's helping so much. I appreciate the people who emailed me the other day as well saying, yo, I got some cool ideas, blah, 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 it means a lot. All of that vibes so well, it feels so good, and I'm just gonna end this video. It's so hard for me to say goodbye, but I got to. Guys, love you so much, progress daily, and keep killing it! Yeah.